how to look rich. Not even so much rich, but wealthy. Let's define what that is first, shall we? We're not talking about Rihanna rich, Britney Spears rich, simply having a lot of money. No, 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 no. We're talking about wealthy. Now I'm putting looking rich and wealthy in the same category as looking sophisticated, elegant, classy, being classy, understated elegance. We're not talking about loud luxury. We're not talking about broadcasting how much wealth we have all over our shirt with our Gucci logos and Prada sunglasses or walking around with wads of cash and doing this number. We're not talking about flying first class and then bragging to everyone about it. It's definitely not wearing clothes that are very revealing or really baggy or really sloppy. Also to clarify, not all wealthy people are classy and sophisticated and understated elegance. And there are tons of people who are not wealthy who are the epitome of class and sophistication. You definitely don't need to be wealthy to pull off this sophisticated, classy look. Now I also don't think this is a look that everyone is gonna want to wear 100% of the time. Maybe you do and that's fine as well. But sometimes it's nice to have these little tips and tricks in your pocket for if there's an occasion where you really wanna look sophisticated and classy. A lot of these qualities are good to be aware of whether you use them or not. Also, this video is sponsored by Lily Silk. I love putting in them in this type of video and I will explain why in just a few minutes. And now let's get started. Looking rich and classy has much more to do with timeless and classic styles than it does with following trends or having thousands of items in your closet. There is absolutely nothing wrong with those items. I love trendy items when they suit me, but if you're going for this classy, polished, sophisticated look, oftentimes the really trendy items are not going to help you achieve it. A very simple hack to make sure your outfit always looks polished and sophisticated and like you're wealthy is to focus on having one or two subtle but luxe details on your outfit. This is an especially good tip for warmer weather where you can't do a lot of layering. For instance, your shorts or your pants or your blouse has small pleats or there is a cuff on your sleeve or you add a belt to your outfit a very nice looking belt, maybe leather, or the fabric is a luxe fabric like silk or linen or cashmere, or the buttons on your top are more special than the traditional buttons. You can even replace the buttons on an inexpensive top to make it look more expensive and chic and rich. A lot of times you can find these items by searching for tailored shorts or tailored pants or tailored trousers. This brings me to my second point, which is arguably, arguably the most important point of this whole entire video, and that is to make sure that your clothes fit. Wealthy people are not walking around in clothes that are too small or too tight, or the buttons are popping, or it's hanging completely loose all over them. The waist of their pants is not gonna be pinching. The zipper's not gonna be broken. They may be wearing some simple white sneakers and a very basic outfit, but those sneakers are very clean, and that outfit is not wrinkled. It's not, it doesn't have strings hanging off or look disheveled. Simple fix for this is to take your clothes to a tailor to make sure they fit, or if they just don't fit, maybe it's time to let those things go. Whatever look you're trying to go for, wealthy or trendy or uber stylish or whatever, you really do need to make sure your clothes fit. The baggy look is in, that's a different story, but if something is too tight and it's pinching you, it'll just detract from the whole outfit no matter what look you're going for. I love simple tips that help you achieve a sophisticated, classy look, but I also really love things to be straightforward and I love just, I like things to be easy. I know that I've already said that, but I really do. <laughs> so one of the easiest ways you can make sure that all of your clothes look polished and expensive and chic and classy and to achieve that wealthy upper crust look is to make a commitment to yourself that when you go shopping, you buy high quality clothes to begin with. One high quality shirt which is probably gonna cost you more money is not equal to 10 very inexpensive, cheaply made ones. That high quality, well-made shirt is going to last you years, decades even, while those 10 very inexpensive, cheap shirts may last you a few months, if that, maybe if you take really good care of them. To get the most bang for your buck and make your money go further, fewer but better quality items are much better and gonna last you longer than a lot more and lower quality items. You may not be able to buy everything all at once, but if you start now, over the next few months, the next few years, you will accumulate a quality wardrobe that you can always depend on and go to and keep 
forever. Lily Silk is our sponsor for today, and one thing I love about Lily Silk is that they offer high quality mulberry silk products, but without the high price that luxury silk normally is. Silk immediately looks expensive and chic and polished and wealthy without even trying too hard. I've partnered with Lily Silk a few times at this point, and I love all of their products. Their silk products, their cashmere products, their sleepwear. But the thing that really has amazed me with the, with Lily Silk, and I can say this now because I've ordered so many of their products, but they all fit so well. And I know fit is a very individual thing, like what fits me, it may not fit the same way on you, but every single clothing product that I have ordered from them has fit me to a T, which I find amazing. That hardly ever happens. But again, they are a high quality company. They make high quality goods, and you often will get that with a higher quality brand. So for instance, I ordered these wide leg trouser pants that are ankle length. I have been looking for a pair just like this. Like I wanted them ankle length. I wanted them wide leg, but I, a lot of the wide leg just doesn't look right on me. But the fabric, the way it lays, it's thin enough for Florida. And I just, I'm obsessed with these. They fit me so well. They are high-waisted. They're very flowy. And I love that they look good with my flats. They look good with heels. They even look good with my boots. I ordered this skirt on a whim. And after I ordered it, I was like, oh my God, there's no way this is going to fit me or look right on me. I just don't know what I did. But when it arrived, it actually fits so well. It's also high-waisted and lays in a way that doesn't pinch or add bulk, which I want to know what sorcery that is because <laughs> I've had so much fun wearing this. I love this super simple silk navy tee, which is perfect for Florida, especially fall in Florida. And I feel like it goes with anything, but also dresses up even my most casual bottoms. Of course, this top I'm wearing has the most beautiful detailing. I'll show you a picture of it. And the color is so amazing. It's this rich, rich blue. By the way, since my arm is broken, it's broken up here. That's why it doesn't have a cast on it. But my husband had to tie the bow in the back. So um, <laughs> he doesn't tie bows very often, so I hope it looks okay. I have a discount code for Lily Silk that I will put in the description box. I'll also list all of my favorite items from them, what size I'm wearing. If you haven't tried them out yet and you like the look of silk, I highly recommend them. One outfit formula, I've actually mentioned on a few videos, but it always looks sophisticated and polished, and it definitely is an outfit that a wealthy, classy woman would wear is a monochrome outfit. So monochrome meaning it's an outfit made of the same color or all in the same color family. So maybe light blue and dark blue or navy and pastel blue or an all green outfit. It's easiest to do this with neutral colors like cream, taupe, and brown, but you can also do this with blue, green, yellow, or red, or any other color you like. Now, when you're really in doubt about what to wear, but you really wanna look polished and expensive and very chic, and you wanna look very important, an all white outfit or an all black outfit is always gonna look amazing. Add some gold or silver jewelry, you can't go wrong. The other two requirements of this, of course, is to make sure it fits, as we talked about, and then of course, make sure it's not a super trendy style. Like the styles need to be more classic, timeless. An easy outfit formula to look expensive and classy is to wear an outfit of all classics or basic pieces. Neutral colors would be great here. And then have a hero or a statement item. This could be a classic watch, patent leather shoes, bold jewelry, not gaudy by the way, but think gold or silver, a beautiful structured handbag, or some sunglasses that perfectly frame your face. Any of these statement items can instantly take a very inexpensive, basic classic outfit make it look luxe and sophisticated and put together. Now, wealthy people do not spend a ton of money on trendy items, flashy items, loud prints. They learn how to spend money on high quality items, quality things. They learn how to invest their money or at least hire somebody who knows how to invest it for them. Most wealthy people, they know they're wealthy. They really don't care about advertising their wealth to everyone. That's a whole different conversation about new money versus old money, which, you know, uh, some people who have come into money and they are really excited about it, they wanna buy these things they've never been able to have, and which is amazing. Um, but, you know, a lot of these wealthy people who have been wealthy since they were literally a baby, <laughs> they just, they don't care about that. They care more about looking polished and put together and every little hair in place and having things sit on their body the way that they should, and less so about following a trend or trying to be the most stylish 
edgy person in the room. So for the wealthy woman, there might be a few tasteful prints in her closet, but the majority of her wardrobe is going to be made up of timeless, classic styles, basics, lots of solid colors, and only a handful of prints of um, maybe trendy items, of you know brand logoed items. And honestly, if it is Gucci or Prada or something, it's not gonna be the Gucci t-shirt or a huge Prada logo down the sleeve or something like that. She may have a $4,000 Chanel bag, but she took care of it and bought it in a style that doesn't age. She very likely has a stylist that picks out her clothes and she probably doesn't have a huge closet packed with clothing like you would think. She has a more curated closet with select pieces that are very nice, very high quality. Most of them go back with each other, more so like a capsule wardrobe. And every piece was probably handpicked just for her. You can do this yourself. You are worthy of a wardrobe that you handpick just for yourself. Not because somebody else is wearing it or because you think it's what you should wear, but if this kind of style resonates with you, you can carefully pick these items for your closet by one at a time. And eventually you will have a wardrobe that you are super proud of that works for you and your life and your style and you will also look like a wealthy classy woman. If you're really trying to embrace this look, then focus 80% of your wardrobe on timeless, classic, high quality items that never go out of style and the other 20% on everything else. With the 80-20 formula, you can easily get away with only having a handful of clothes but making dozens of outfits. Very wealthy people are gonna care more about the quality and feel and fit of an item and how they feel in it, much more so than what people are thinking of them or what people think of their outfit. They are mainly gonna stick with natural fibers like cotton and linen and silk and cashmere, wool, or high quality synthetic fibers. Not only do these look better and more expensive than a cheap rayon or polyester, but they also feel better against your skin. And if you are feeling more comfortable in your clothes, you will definitely look better in them and you'll feel better. Now, if you were starting from scratch on this wardrobe of trying to look sophisticated and polished and expensive, you can get a lot of very inexpensive items in neutral colors like white and beiges and creams and taupes that can look very expensive if they fit you and they're in classic timeless styles. But with color, you're often going to get a better, richer color if the fabric is a high quality fabric. A lot of the times if something is very inexpensively made, it'll have a cheaply done dye process, meaning that once you wash it a couple times, it's going to fade and not look that great. Like this beautiful blue shirt, if I take care of it like it's supposed to be taken care of, the blue is going to still stay there just like this for a very long time. If you like color, I would start that first high quality item be something that's in a classic style and a beautiful color that you like that's a high quality fabric. Your basic white tee, your um, tailored shorts, your more neutral items can be kind of saved for last because you can definitely get away with making those in inexpensive items look a lot more expensive when they're put together in the right way. So if you wanna look classy and wealthy and sophisticated, you are gonna to have to do some level of grooming on yourself. The excuse that you don't have time because you have kids and you have a job and you have all the things is just not gonna fly. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm talking to myself because I often use that excuse. Well, like, I don't have time, I got kids. Well, you know what? It still looks bad. It doesn't change the fact that your crusty heels don't look good. But if your fingernail polish is all chipped, or you got black roots and blonde ends, or your hair has been in a messy bun for three months because you haven't washed it, none of that is going to help you look sophisticated or polished. Wealthy women may go to a day spa to have all this done for them, but you don't have to do that. You can do all of these things at home, but the end result will be the same. One very subtle thing that wealthy, classy, polished people do that a lot of people do not is that they know how to present themselves to others. They don't talk over people. They're good listeners. They make eye contact. They smile at you. They stand up straight. They're not bragging about their wealth or how much they paid for something or what kind of car they have. They're very polite to everyone. They don't try to belittle people or seek validation. They definitely aren't trying to prove anything to anyone. Always remember the quote, money talks, wealth whispers. So what that means is sometimes people can come into a lot of money and they can be very aggressive about how they show everyone how much money they have. Someone who comes from generational wealth has no interest in doing this. They may have a yacht outside, but they're not going to go into a party and say, everyone, look at my yacht. They're just going to say, goodbye, it was a very nice party, and then they're going to sail off on their yacht. <laughs> Another thing wealthy women are definitely not doing, they're not wearing loads of heavy makeup. They're not wearing 
crazy flashy um, fake eyelashes and huge cat eyes and things like that. Of course, if they're going to like a ball or something nighttime or something very glamorous, everybody's gonna wear heavy makeup, but we're just talking about during the day, your everyday look. They're not gonna do anything really crazy with their eyes or their lips or wear heavy makeup. But during the day, they're gonna wear makeup to highlight their features, to accentuate parts of their face, but they're not gonna look like they're going to their high school prom at 3.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> do you want more videos on how to pull off this look? Do you want more videos on like, new rich, new money, old money, um, fake rich, how to not act if you want to appear classy and sophisticated and all that. I think I might do some of those videos. I hope you guys like this one. Let me know what you think. <laughs> and as always, I really appreciate you guys. I love your comments. Sometimes I'm not able to respond to all of them, but I get to read almost all of them because they come up as a notification on my phone. Even if I'm right in the middle of changing a poopy diaper, I can be like, that's funny. I, that's, that's good. I'm glad she liked that. So just know that I do see them. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Check out Lily Silk if you haven't already. I really do love their products. Their products are amazing and I will see you next time. Oh, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't, and consider subscribing if you have not already, and I'll see you next time.